If they hadn't been rescued and brought over to England, these children would have been killed by the Nazis. But in fact, they were saved by an English stockbroker called Nicholas Winton. In all, Nicholas Winton and the committees who helped him managed to save 664 children. This is his scrapbook. There are all kinds of fascinating pictures in it. But back here, you will see, is the list of all the children and the foster families who took them in. This is Vera Diamant when she was 10. Now she's Vera Gissing. Until we told her this week, she had no idea that Nicholas Winton had in fact arranged her rescue. But we did find her name, Vera Diamant, as she was then, on his list. Vera Gissing is with us here tonight. Hello, Vera. And uh, I should tell you that you are actually sitting next to N Nicholas Winton. <laughs> as possible of these grown-up children to get in touch with us so they'd have the chance to thank Mr Winton personally. Can I ask, is there anyone in our audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? If so, could you stand up, please? Mr Winton, would you like to turn round? You all had the chance to meet these people properly after the programme. In the meantime, Mr Winton... On behalf of all of them, thank you very much indeed. And other cartoon characters inside an asylum centre for children in Dover have been painted over after an order from the immigration minister. Robert Jenrick made the call reportedly because he believed they sent too welcoming a message the Home Office confirmed the paintings, also depicting Tom and Jerry, and Blue from The Jungle Book were covered on Tuesday. 